Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Oh my god, it was the concert of the year in VR chat. Let's dive in. By the way, welcome back to VR Essentials. My name is Laz USK and we talk about the practical uses of VR. Jean-Michel Jean, who is world famous, a creative genius, pioneer in the electro-artistic music scene, where he even projected some images when he did a concert back in Egypt on the pyramids. I mean, how crazy is that? Who else do you know who does that kind of stuff? And again, for Music Day on the 21st of June, well, just to recap what everything that happened, he basically did his concert using VRChat as his main location and destination. VRChat, which is known as one of the leading, if not perhaps the leading, leave a comment below if you think it is, where you can really be crazy and meet other really cool people in all types of different avatars. It's probably the only social media VR experience where you can be Mickey Mouse, Goofy, or you can be Pikachu, or you can be Superman or Wonder Woman, or you can customize any room you want or any avatar that you want. And you can even create your own mini games inside of VR chat like there is literally, you can do Beat Saber in there and a whole bunch of other things. All right, I digress. Let's get back into the Jean-Michel Jarre concert, which was organized in VR chat and also co-produced with VR Room, who are a platform that basically promotes all types of different articles about the AR and VR space and who are now basically organizing some events in virtual reality. I was so excited. I really felt the buzz from the moment that I got there. I was in the main hall waiting for the concert to start. There was about maybe 30 or 40 other people around. And even though, I mean, this is the biggest difference between, you know, VR and the real life is that I didn't feel claustrophobic. Even though there were so many people, I didn't feel like I was shoved on the floor and I was going to be walked on. The fact is I could just go woo, right, jump the queue without having to budge into anybody. I mean, that was quite fantastic. My first VR concert experience of this scale, especially. And then the moment that we got in, boom, the action started. Jean-Michel Jarre was playing. He was swinging, getting the crowds going. And then it was very interesting because basically there was a wall where you could try to be a different avatar and you suddenly became this kind of holographic person. It was pretty fun. And then also they had these kind of capsules that you could, you know, swallow. It was kind of drug effect. I mean, I don't know if I'm for that, but I like the idea of being able to basically what would happen is you would take it and then everything would change color. Everything would become a hallucination. So you had different effects. One would go completely black and white whilst another, the entire room would basically become red. And then, you know, you could go back to normal and then they had various different other effects. So I like the concept behind it. The fact that, you know, you could press something and then everything would change. That was really awesome. And also they had this giant screen, which is about 180 degrees all around with a lot of animation going. Now, when we look at the original footage, which was taken by the actual um, organizers, there was no kind of stuttering and everything was perfect. But when I was using the actual Oculus Quest using the link, we had a lot of issues. Uh, there was a lot of stuttering, a lot of lagging. It was very hard to actually enjoy most of the concert, I have to admit. And I went through Steam and I also went through the Oculus version of VR chat. What's really interesting is that when you compare my footage that I took during the concert and the actual footage from the organizers, is that with the Oculus Quest using the link, I was in a different place in the room. So I couldn't actually see Jean-Michel Jean's avatar. But when you use the Oculus Rift or another PC VR headset, you are actually able to see his avatar. The creative direction and production of the entire thing was just so well done. I mean, first of all, the hall itself was kind of this sci-fi kind of punkish feel with these neon lights here and there. And then when you got inside the actual hall, it was like being inside an organ that was alive, like some kind of heart that was pumping with all these effects that were happening and the actual animated, the, the world itself was animating. It was opening and closing. I mean, it was pretty cool. And then you had all these particles floating around and people who were kind of releasing hearts or something and all these lights and volumetrics with fog and stuff. I mean, it was really well done. Guys, I really want to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in virtual reality because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy, stay safe, and as always, DJ, take it away. Ooh.